If you have any doubts, please speak with your doctor, ensuring that you are able to practice yoga. I ask that we find ourselves in a comfortable seated position. Maybe starting out in an easy seat or a lotus or half lotus. Simply finding our way to our mat in our seated position. Maybe we can slightly gaze our eyes downward or close them if that feels good for us. Using the down gaze to help us go inward here this evening. Maybe we can take a nice deep intentional breath and using the breath to help guide and soothe our mind and our body. Inhale. May we hold the breath for a couple seconds, filling our lungs with oxygen before we exhale. Inhale. Holding the breath, and on our exhale, may we exhale through our mouth, feeling our bodies relax. Exhale. With our exhales, maybe we notice how our shoulders relax downward towards the earth. Maybe we notice. Inhale. Exhale. Gazing downward. Using the down gaze in our breath to bring us here at this present moment, focusing on the now, being in this moment of self-care. Using the breath, using the down gaze to help us relax as we go inward. May we bring our palms together at heart center, finding ourselves in our seated prayer. I still gaze downward in our seated prayer. Chest is up, shoulders are back nice and tall. Our back is straight. Inhale. Exhale. Relaxing our bodies. May we use the next 30 to 60 seconds to sit in silence. Noticing how we feel in our silence, in our peace, as we go inward here today. Whatever feeling we may have, may we feel the experience without judgment. Letting it be what it is, but a feeling. Feelings come, feelings go. May we take notice and don't judge whatever we may feel. Exhale our hands down towards our lap, lifting our shoulders up towards our ears, slightly rolling our shoulders back. Inhale, shoulders up, up towards the ears, rolling back. Nice gentle shoulder rolls at our natural breath. Using the shoulder rolls to relax and ease our mind and our bodies, loosening up our upper back, relaxing our neck. Two more natural shoulder rolls with our natural breath. One more. 
finding still. Relaxing our bodies. Hands are at our side, beside us. Palms facing upwards if we choose. We're gonna bring our arms above our heads, palms together, finding ourselves in our seated salute. Seated salute, chin slightly up. Back is nice and straight, shoulders up. Inhale. On our exhale, we're gonna bring our palms down to our chest. Exhale. Finding ourselves in our seated prayer. Noticing how we feel. Palms back up above our head. Seated salute. Inhale. Exhale, arms down to seated prayer. Bringing our arms down beside us. Palms are downward on the mat. Noticing how our palms feel, touching the mat, touching the earth. Simply noticing how that feels on our palms. As we slightly lean towards the side, finding ourselves doing a side bend. Bringing our left arm up in the air as we bend to the right. Noticing how our body feels with our side bend. Taking notice, maybe we can go deeper in that side bend by slightly bending our right elbow, allowing us to go deeper down to the mat, keeping our tummies nice and tight. One more breath. Exhale, back to center. Both palms are on the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Slightly bending our body towards the left. Right arm comes up in the air. Slightly leaning over our head. Feeling that side bend as we lean to the left. Going deeper into that side bend. Keeping our tummy tight. One more breath. Exhale, back to center. Palms on the mat, palms above our head. See the salute, inhale. Back is straight, shoulders up, heart chakra, chest is up. Exhale, seated prayer. Bringing our hands to our knees, palms downward on our knees. Back is up nice and tall, shoulders back, chin is up. Slightly twisting our bodies to the right, slightly looking over our right shoulder, nice and relaxed, feeling the spinal twist here in our seated twist. One more breath. Exhale, back to center. Right, turn it to the left. Slightly looking over the left shoulder, feeling a spinal twist here. One more breath. Exhale, back to center. Palms at our side, palms facing upwards. Inhale, seated salute. Exhale, seated prayer. Finding ourselves in our tabletop pose. Hands are directly underneath our shoulders. Dropping our bodies down to our cow. Chin slightly up. Back is sunken. Exhale to our cat. Chin's going towards our chest, towards our clavicle. Spinal cord is up in the air. Inhaling back to our cow. Feeling the spinal dip here, feeling our slight back bend in our cow. Exhale, the cat. Coming back to our table, checking in, seeing how we feel. We're gonna go to thread the needle, left arms out to the side, threading our left arm through our right arm. Our shoulder 
blade is coming down towards the earth, so is our head. We are relaxed here in our thread the needle. Tummy's nice and tight. Maybe we can lift our right arm in the air if we choose to go deeper in this rest pose here, feeling and stretch even more. Relaxing our arm, our right arm over our back, lower back. Seeing how we feel if we choose to go deeper in a stretch. Thread the needle with our arm behind our back. Relaxing our minds and our bodies here and our thread the needle. Seeing how we feel, inhale. Exhale. Slowly unwrapping our arm behind our back. If it was wrapped, palms on the mat. Using that arm to push us up, unthreading that needle, finding ourselves back in our tabletop, dropping down to our cow, chin slightly up, back is sunken. Exhale to our cat. Coming back to our table, right arms out to the side. We're gonna do thread the needle opposite side, threading our right arm through our left. Nice and relaxed, shoulder coming down to the mat. We can lift our left arm up in the air and wrap it around our back if we choose for a deeper stretch. Nice deep breath in, inhale. Exhale. Relaxing here for a couple breaths. Unwrapping our arm from over our back, pushing our bodies up, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping our bodies back down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Coming back to our table, bringing our left, our right leg, bringing our right leg out behind us. We are going into bird pose here. Right legs behind us. Gathering our balance here, seeing how we feel. Tummy is nice and tight. As we bring our left arm out forward, finding ourselves in our dog bird pose. We're gonna just call it bird pose for short. Relaxing here in our bird pose, feeling our body strengthen. We are engaging our abs, meaning our tummy is nice and tight. Our right leg is up in the air, feeling our glutes on our right side working here as our right leg is in the air and our bird pose. If we want to lower down that right leg, we can relax in our leg on our, on our toes. We can do a bird pose this way as well. We just won't work the glutes. Or we can bring our leg up here and work the glutes, engaging our abs. Two more breaths. Feeling our body strengthen, inhale. And on our exhale, we're gonna bring our knee to our elbow, exhale. Hold it. Back to bird pose. Knee to elbow. Back to bird pose. Feeling our body strengthen and balance here. As we exhale back to our table, relaxing down to our cow, coming to our cat, coming back to our table, looking slightly forward, bird pose opposite side, left leg goes to the back, and don't forget we can lower our leg if we don't want to keep it up high. We have a choice. Once we balance our bodies here with our left leg to the back, may we bring our right arm forward, finding ourselves back in our bird pose, opposite side. Our abs are nice and tight, filling our body's balance here. 
two more breaths. Inhale. And when I exhale, knee to elbow. Exhale. Hold it two breaths. Feeling that strength, that balance. Back to bird pose. Knee to elbow. Back to bird pose. Maybe hold this bird pose for two more breaths. Back to our table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Pushing our bodies back, bringing our buttocks to the heels of our feet. Relaxing in hero's pose. Seeing how we feel. Chest is up, shoulders back, nice and tall. Arms above our heads. Seated, salute. Palms together above our heads. Inhale. Exhale, palms at heart center. Coming down to our doggy pose. Or we can come into child's pose. Whatever feels good for you. Relax in here. In our dog pose or, or our child's pose. <sighs> Maybe we can take a nice, deep, intentional breath in here. Relax in our bodies with the breath. Exhale. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Exhaling back to our table. Finding ourselves in our first downward facing dog. Feeling a stretch here, making our dog nice and long as long as, as, long as we can. <sighs> nice deep breath in here. Palms are at the front of our mat, pushing forward, pushing our bodies back, feeling our downward facing dog, feeling a stretch. Maybe we can gaze back at our feet. Engaging our abs, keeping our tummies nice and tight. Gazing back at our hands, seeing how that feels. Hmm. Building strength here in our downward facing dog, holding the pose. Two more breaths. Coming up to our high plank. Seeing how that feels in our high plank. Two more breaths. We can always modify by coming down here if we choose. We don't have to be high up. Or we can modify to a high up plank. Whatever feels best for you. We always have options. Holding a plank, building our strength. As we do a side plank, turn it to the side, bringing that arm up in the air. Building our strength here in our side plank. Two more breaths. Relaxing your arm. Coming back to our downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, coming back to our plank, side plank, opposite side, filling our bodies, build our strength here in our side plank, and don't forget we can go down to our elbow if we choose, we don't have to be up high, one more breath. Coming back down to our plank, to our downward facing dog. Feeling a stretch here. We're gonna stay here for two more breaths. Maybe we can pedal our feet if we choose. Walking our dog here. One more breath. Coming into our table. Dropping down to a wide legged child's pose. Nice and relaxed. <sighs> Hmm. 
feeling our bodies relaxed here in our child's pose. Maybe we can take a nice deep intentional breath, using a breath to relax and calm. Coming back to our table, coming back to our downward facing dog. <sighs> Feeling a stretch here in our downward facing dog. As we come to a complete forward fold, completely leaning forward, feeling our bodies relaxing here in our complete forward fold. <sighs> Nice deep breath here in our complete forward fold. Exhale. Coming up to our half forward fold. Going back down to a complete forward fold. Feeling our body stretching here. Feeling the back of our legs, our hamstrings working here in our complete forward fold. Two more breaths, simply relaxing here. <sighs> Coming up to a half forward fold. Chin slightly up, back is straight. Hold it for two more breaths. Coming up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side, palms facing forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, palms above our head, standing salute, exhale, standing prayer, inhale, back to standing salute, exhale, standing prayer. In our standing prayer, nice deep breath in. Hold the breath for a couple seconds. Exhale. Keeping our palms together, bringing our palms up, finding ourselves back in our standing salute. Spreading our palms apart, our hands are apart, tummies nice and tucked. As we flow into a standing crescent moon to the right, Slightly bending our bodies to the right. Noticing how this feels in our body. Tummy's nice and tight. Coming back to center, standing salute. As we do a standing crescent moon, opposite side. Slightly bending our bodies to the left. Tummy's nice and tight. Noticing how we feel within our bodies. Coming back to center, palms back together, standing salute. Interlacing our fingers, all except for our index finger. Our pointer finger is pointing straight up as we bring our chest forward and our shoulder blades and our arms back. Feeling the bend here and this slight back bend. Relaxing our bodies, allowing our chest to come forward, arms going back as much as we can without causing any pain. Tummy is nice and tight. Feeling our bodies relax. Coming back to standing tall, standing salute. Inhale. Exhale, a standing prayer. Going down to our chair. Maybe we can bring our palms up in the air in our chair pose if we choose. Or we can keep our hands in prayer pose in our chair. Whatever feels best for you. Noticing how our body feels. Noticing our quads, our quad muscles are working here and our glutes are being, are getting nice and tight. Maybe we can bring our palms together and find ourselves in our prayer chair pose. Seeing how that feels, exhale to the right. Chair pose twist with prayer hands. 
Noticing how that feels. Exhale back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Engaging our abs, keeping our tummy nice and tight. Coming back to center. Complete forward fold. Relaxing our bodies. Relaxing our legs, relaxing our knees. Maybe we can allow our head to fall completely forward by doing a rag dial. Grabbing our shoulders from side to side with our hand. Relaxing and rag dial. <sighs> Feeling our bodies relax down as we come back to a complete forward fold. Coming up to our half forward fold. Coming up to our Tadasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to our standing salute. Palms together above our heads. Exhale, standing prayer. Coming down to our chair. Coming down to a complete forward fold. Working our way to our high plank. Holding a plank for two breaths, building arm strength here. Coming down to our chaturanga. Don't forget we can come to our knees if we choose. Chaturanga. Two more breaths. Coming up to our cobra. Nice deep breath here in our cobra. Feeling a slight back bend. Exhale. Relaxing our shoulders down from our ears in our cobra. Coming up to our upward facing dog. Drop into our knees, come into a wide legged child's pose. Relax. breaths here in our child's pose. Waving our bodies back to our table. Coming back to our downward facing dog. Feeling a stretch here. Maybe we can pedal our feet walking our dog. Finding pause. Three-legged dog right side. Right legs in the air nice and tall. Holding this three-legged dog for two breaths. Slightly bending our knee, bringing our right foot to our left buttocks. Slightly opening up our hip. Tummy's nice and tight. Seeing how that feels. And if you want to go deeper, we can drop over to a wild thing. Feeling our bodies relaxing our wild thing. Holding it, two more breaths. Coming out of our wild thing, back to our downward facing dog. <sighs> Waving our bodies to our table. Coming to our child's pose, relax. Two more breaths here in our child's pose. Mm. Waving our bodies back to our table. Coming back to our downward facing dog. Feeling the stretch. Three-legged dog opposite side. Left legs in the air, nice and tall. Mm. Holding this pose for two more breaths. Feeling our bodies balanced and strengthened here. 
as we slightly bend our left knee, bringing our left foot towards our right buttocks, feeling our hips slightly open, holding this for two more breaths. And if all feels well and you want to go deeper, we can drop over to Wild Thing. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Coming back to our downward facing dog. <sighs> Seeing how that feels. <sighs> Waving our bodies to our table. Dropping down to our child's pose or our puppy pose. <sighs> We'll hold this pose for two to three breaths. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, back to table. Dropping our bodies down to our cow. Feeling our backs relax here in our cow. Sunken back. Chin slightly up. Exhale to our, to our cat. Coming back to our table, finding ourselves back in our downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, right side, right legs nice and high in the air. Feeling the stretch, holding it two more breaths. Inhale, and on our exhale, we're gonna bring our knee to our elbow, exhale. Hold it, two breaths. We are strengthening our bodies here. Back to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to elbow. Nice and relaxed. Back to three-legged dog. Dropping our leg down to our downward facing dog, nice and relaxed. Three-legged dog, opposite side, left legs in the air, nice and tall. We're gonna keep on moving through, keep on flowing. Building the strength here. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. We'll hold it, two breaths, building strength. Back to three-legged dog. Back to knee to elbow. Back to three-legged dog. Lowering our leg to our downward facing dog. Waving our bodies to our table. Coming down to a child's pose, nice and relaxed. We'll hold this pose here for two more breaths. Waving our bodies back to our table. Coming back up to our downward facing dog. Three-legged dog, right side, right legs in the air, nice and tall. Bringing that right foot to the right hand. Finding ourselves in a runner's lunge. Positioning your body to feel comfortable in your runner's lunge. Nice deep breath in. Exhale. Feeling your body relax. Walking our right foot to the edge of our mat. Bringing our right arm inside of our leg. Positioning our bodies to get comfy. Dropping down to our knees if we choose as we go down deeper into our lizard. Our lizard pose prepares us for split. We don't have to be on our knee in our lizard. We always can come off that knee. Slightly looking forward, gazing slightly down. 
We'll hold this pose for two more breaths. Drop into our knee, coming out of that pose, slightly looking up, finding ourselves back in our downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Three-legged dog, opposite side, left legs in the air, nice and tall, feeling a stretch. Bringing our right, our left foot to our left hand, finding ourselves in our runner's lunge, positioning our bodies to be comfortable, seeing how that feels, walking our left foot to the edge of the mat, bringing our left arm inside of our leg, positioning our body to be comfortable, dropping down to our lizard. We can always come down to our knee if we choose, or we can stay in the air, engaging our abs, keeping our tummy nice and tight. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Drop into our knee if we choose. Coming up, finding ourselves back in our downward facing dog. Coming up to our high plank. Coming down to our chaturanga. To our cobra. Relaxing our shoulders away from our ears. Yes. To our upward facing dog. To our downward facing dog. <sighs> Back to our upward facing dog. We are working our shoulders here, building our arm strength. Back to our downward facing dog. We are building strength here. Back to our upward facing dog. Drop into our knees, wide legged child's pose, nice and relaxed. Two more breaths in our wide legged child's pose. Mm. Waving our bodies back to our table. Nice and relaxed. Waving our bodies to our table. Coming back again. Downward facing dog. Feeling our body strength in here. Feeling our bodies relax. Seeing how that feels. Left leg in the air. Three legged dog. Left foot to left hand, finding ourselves in that runner's lunge as we twist that back leg to warrior two. Inhale, exhale, warrior one. Back to warrior two. Exhale to reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Relaxing our body. Bringing our palms together, staying in our side angle. Side angle twist. Tummy's nice and tight. Framing that front foot, turning forward. Finding ourselves in our runner's lunge. Seeing how that feels as we straighten that front leg. Finding ourselves in a high split. Exhale over that leg, leaning over, feeling that stretch, extended stretch here. Nice and relaxed, allowing our bodies to fall over that front leg. 
This pose here also prepares our body for split, for full split that is. Bending that knee again, finding ourselves back in our runner's lunge. Walking our left foot to the edge of the mat, bringing our left arm back inside of our legs, positioning our hands to feel comfortable, making sure that we feel nice and solid and we are in place. If we are, we're gonna twist that back foot like we're going into warrior two, but we're not. We're gonna bring this right arm, opening up that wing, right arms up in the air. We're gonna look up at our right arm if we can. Tummy's nice and tight. Engaging the core, your abs to keep your balance here. Two more breaths. Closing the wing. Coming back to our runner's lunge, back to our downward facing dog. Feeling a stretch here in our downward facing dog. As we walk our dog, pedaling our feet. Right legs in the air, three-legged dog, right side. Right foot to right hand, runner's lunge. Checking in, twisting our body to our warrior two. Coming up in our warrior two, inhale. Exhale. Relaxing our body with the breath. Coming to our warrior one or our High lunge, seeing how that feels to warrior two. Exhale to reverse warrior. Coming to extended side angle. Staying in our side angle, pray your hands. Feeling our body strengthen here as we turn forward, framing that front foot, finding ourselves in our runner's lunge, seeing how we feel, walking our feet to the edge of the mat, bringing our arm inside of our body, positioning our body to feel comfortable and nice and balanced here. Once we feel balanced, we're gonna slightly twist that back feet like we're going into warrior two, but we're not. And we're gonna allow our left arm to open. Wing is up in the air. Left arm is up. Slightly looking up at our left arm. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Relaxing the arm. Closing that wing. Positioning our bodies. Back to downward facing dog. <sighs> Coming up to our upward facing dog. Dropping down to our cobra. Coming into a wide legged child's pose. We're gonna rest here in our wild legged child's pose for two to three more breaths. <sighs> Finding ourselves coming out of our wild legged child's pose, coming into our hero's pose. Nice and relaxed in our hero's pose. Chest is up, shoulders are back, nice and tall. Seeing how that feels in our hero's pose. Nice breath in. Hold it for a couple seconds. Exhale. Feeling our shoulders relax downward. Slightly crossing our feet behind our buttocks. Finding ourselves in a seated pose. Maybe in an easy seat or a half lotus or four lotus. Shoulders are up nice and tall. Seated twist, right side. 
softly looking over our right shoulder, feeling our spinal twist here. Tummy is nice and tight. Coming back to center. Hmm. See the twist opposite side, softly looking over our left shoulder. Coming back to forward, inhale, exhale. Finding our bodies in staff pose, both legs forward in front of us, positioning ourselves on the mat to be nice and even. We are now in staff pose, relaxing our bodies as we lean forward in our seated forward fold. Maybe we can try to reach down to our feet if we're able, or if not, our lower legs will work just fine as we allow our forehead and head to relax downward towards our legs. Coming back up to our staff pose, seeing how that feels. Coming down to a Savasana pose, but we're not gonna go in Savasana. We're gonna bring our knees to our chest, hugging our knees into our chest, seeing how that feels. Bringing our legs up in the air, legs on a wall pose, invisible wall in our case. Tummy's nice and tight. As we bring our hands inside of our legs, lower legs, and softly bring our legs apart, finding ourselves in a recline, wide-legged split. Using our hands to softly push our legs apart without causing any pain. The more we do this pose, and the longer we do this pose, the further apart our legs go. We'll hold this for three to four more breaths. <sighs> Using our hands to bring our legs back together. Knees back to chest, hugging our knees into our chest, allowing our knees to fall to the left, recline, spinal twist, left side, right arms out to the side, softly looking over our right arm. Feeling our shoulders relax here. Coming back to center. Knee to chest. Allowing our legs to fall, our knees to fall to the right. Spinal twist opposite side. Relaxing our shoulders downward into the mat. Feeling our spinal cord relax nice and deep. Coming back to center, bringing our knees back to our chest. Crossing our feet if we choose, we're gonna find ourselves in a boat pose. Inhale. And on our exhale, we're gonna come to our boat pose. Shoulders back nice and tall. Hands are parallel with our lower legs. Tummy is nice and tight. We are engaging our abdominal muscles here. Working our tummy here. We'll hold this for two more breaths. Keeping our legs in the air. We're gonna allow our knees to come towards our chest just a little, and we're gonna grab our feet with our hands. We're gonna do a boat pose variation. This here is a balancing act, but it's also keeping our abs nice and tight. With our hands and feet together, we're gonna to hold this pose for two breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. 
seeing how we feel. And on our next exhale, we're going to bring our left leg out to the side like a V. Left leg goes out to the side just like a V, feeling that stretch, feeling our body's balance here, engaging our abs nice and tight. Seeing how that feels. Bringing that leg back in, keeping our legs in the air, keeping our tummy nice and tight. If that felt well, maybe we can do the same thing to the right. Bringing that right leg out to the side like a V. Like a V, V for Vanessa, V for victory. Seeing how that feels, feel, feeling a stretch. Holding it here for two more breaths. We are working on our boat pose variation. This helps us with balance and it also engages our abs, keeping our abs nice and tight. Relaxing that leg, keeping both legs in the air. Nice breath in, exhale. Seeing how we feel, bringing that left leg back out to the side like a V. And maybe we can try bringing out the right leg to the side like a V. Both pose variation, engaging our abs, seeing how we feel. And maybe we can slowly bring our legs apart Making that V nice and wide. Hold it for two breaths. Bringing our knees and our legs back in. The bottom of our feet, maybe we can bring them together in the air. As we continue to engage our abs, balancing our bodies. As we slowly lower our feet down to diamond pose. <sighs> nice and relaxed here in our diamond pose. Shoulders and back is up nice and tall. Nice and relaxed in our diamond pose. As we slowly lean forward, forward fold in our diamond pose. Relax in our body. Coming back up in our diamond pose. I'm sorry, in our butterfly pose. Now bringing our feet slightly further away from our body, finding ourselves now in a diamond pose. Leaning forward again, forward fold in our diamond pose. Maybe we can try to touch our forehead to our feet if we can. Coming back up out of our diamond pose, using our hands to bring our legs together, relaxing our bodies down, knee to chest, we're back on our backs in our savasana, knee to chest, feeling our bodies relax, bringing our legs back up in the air, maybe we can reach the bottom of our legs and slightly bring our legs towards our face as we slightly bring our face towards our legs. So kind of like doing a crunch here, legs to face. Feeling a stretch here in this pose as we may notice our neck, our shoulders, and our head are off the floor. And we are touching our lower legs to our forehead. Feeling a stretch nice and deep. As we relax on out, legs back in the air, bending our knees, finding ourselves in our happy baby. <sighs> Relaxing our bodies in our happy baby. Maybe we can play with our feet, moving our legs up and down, left and right, whatever feels good for you and your happy baby. Maybe we can rock from side to side in our happy baby. Massage in our spinal cord. Coming back to center. Maybe we can go into ear press by trying to bring our legs 
over our shoulder in our happy baby. And this is called an ear press pose. Trying to touch our feet in our ear press. This ear press pose eventually leads to a pretzel. Coming out of that ear press pose, if you are in there, relaxing back in our happy baby. Rocking from side to side. We'll hold our happy baby for four more breaths. Nice and relaxed. <sighs> Two more breaths in our happy baby. Slowly coming out of the happy baby, bringing our legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Finding ourselves back in a reclined, wide-legged split. Nice and slow, no rush. Nice and easy. Reclined, wide-legged split here. We'll hold this for three more breaths. Bringing our legs back together, nice and easy. Knees back to chest. Keeping our knees bent, bringing our feet flat on the floor. <sighs> Using our feet to push our buttocks off the floor, finding ourselves in our bridge. Working our bridge here, seeing how we feel. Pushing our buttocks off the floor. We are now working our gluteus maximus here, our glute muscles here, buns of still. Coming back down slightly, coming back up. Using our feet to push our bodies off the floor. We are in our bridge pose. To go deeper in this bridge pose, we can interlace our fingers, our hands underneath our buttocks. Bringing our hands together underneath our backs. Slightly walking our shoulder blades inward towards our spinal cord. You'll notice your chest, your heart chakra is coming up higher in the air. As is your buttocks, your glutes is coming up higher in the air. And we are applying more pressure to our gluteus maximus here. Squeezing our butts here, buns are still. We'll hold this for four more breaths. Feeling our body strengthen here. Two more breaths. Exhale down, relax. Untucking our shoulders, bringing our knees back to our chest, holding our knees to chest for a couple seconds. Bringing our legs straight up in the air. Legs on the wall poles, seeing how that feels. Bringing our knees back to our chest, straightening out our legs. We are in our Savasana, but we're not gonna hang out here yet. We're going to bring our palms above our heads, palms together above our heads in our Savasana. Slightly lifting our shoulder blades off the floor by applying pressure to the back of our heads. That way our back and our chest area is coming off the floor and we're gonna relax down kind of on our shoulder blades. We're gonna find ourselves in a full body stretch here. Legs are straight side by side. Our arms are above our head, palms together. Our chest is slightly up in the air and we are feeling the full body stretch here. Relaxing our bodies, nice and easy. Two more breaths. Relaxing our bodies back down on our backs. <sighs> Bringing our right leg to the edge of the mat, kind of like an X. Bringing our left leg, crossing our left leg over our right. And walking our shoulder blades, walking our bodies to the side, finding ourselves in our banana pose. Feeling this light 
back bend here, side bend here in our banana pose. Relaxing our bodies. Feeling the side bend as our body is shaped like a banana. Exhale back to center, uncrossing our legs. Banana pose opposite side, bringing that left leg to the edge, to the left. Crossing over the right leg, over the left. Walking our body over to the left side. Bringing our arms back above our head, palms together. Banana pose, opposite side. Feeling the side bend here. Two more breaths. Coming back to center. Hands above the head. We are in our full body stretch again. As we bring our hands back down, bringing our knees back to our bodies, back up to our chest, back to a happy baby. Relaxing our bodies here in Happy Baby. Playing with our feet in our Happy Baby. Inhale. Exhale. Bringing our bodies down flat in our Savasana. Maybe we can slightly look up and grab our blanket and use the blanket to cover our bodies up with if we feel chilly. As we relax here in Savasana, legs are side by side. Maybe we can allow the heels of our feet to be side by side and allow our feet to fall to the side, completely relaxing our legs. Feeling and noticing our bodies, our, our back, our shoulders, falling backwards towards the mat. Maybe we feel like we are melting and becoming one with our yoga mat as our bodies completely relax here in Savasana, aka rest pose. Maybe we can softly gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, simply relaxing. We'll relax here in Asavasana for two minutes in peace, quiet, and silence using this time for meditation. Here we go. Maybe we can slightly turn on our side, finding ourselves in a fetal pose, our fetal position. Relaxing here for 60 seconds.
maybe we can slowly wiggle our toes and our feet circular rotations at our angles at our ankles rolling our hips and our shoulders our torso simply using these rolls and these movements to awaken our bodies maybe we can softly open up our eyes if they were closed preparing our body to find a seated position but note even when I go into my seated pose, my seated position, you can always stay in your savasana or in your fetal pose. You don't have to come out of this pose if you choose to stay here. If you are comfortable, I invite you to stay and relax as I come to a seated pose. Whatever feels best for you. And when we come to a seated pose, if we come to a seated pose, may we come to any seated pose of choice, whatever your body's calling you to do right now, may you find that seat. Or if your body's calling you to continue to lie down, may you continue to relax. I'm gonna bring my palms together at heart center. I would like to thank you for allowing me to guide you here today. It truly was a pleasure. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.